Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Caterpillar Operator Stadium. Big thanks to Mike Rowe, putting on Titan of the Trades. Always a good time. Now, before we get going with another round of demos, we want to make sure that everyone knows that safety is a top priority for Caterpillar. So make sure you take a look at the big screens while we go over a couple quick things. If you need ear protection, there are dispensers at each of the grandstands. Most importantly, please do not lean on or climb over the stadium barriers. If at any point during the demo you have any safety concerns, please reach out to one of the Caterpillar representatives in the red shirts or security personnel. And your health is important too. There are hand sanitizer stations located all over the stadium. And now, without further ado, this is why your work matters. Daybreak. You push yourself out of the darkness, off and gone before the rest of the house is awake. If you could stay longer with your family, you would. But they know every time you leave, you're doing it for them. Because your work matters. Today, like every day, there will be challenges to face on your job site. It could be the elements, the overtime, or something unexpected. But you stand strong because you know your employees, your customers, and your community are counting on you. To each of them, your work matters. Like a force of nature, your work transforms the world as we know it. Your skill, your unwavering resolve to do things right. These ensure your efforts will stand the test of time. Your milestones are your legacy. You are a giant. You are a doer. And your work matters to all of us. The operators and the work they do, that's one of the big reasons I wanted to be here as a part of the Caterpillar family for Con Expo. But who's ready to see some technology demo going on? You guys ready? They're ready. Let's fire it up. All right, now that's a way to make an entrance. As we get all this going on here today, I want to introduce my friend Chad Grameens right down front, who's the field operations manager for CAT, and he runs many of the company's educational initiatives like these demos. He let me come out to the demonstration center in Edwards, Illinois, and get to see all of this stuff happening firsthand. Chad, great to see you, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. You're looking good at it. I feel good. I mean, it's, Con Expo, it's been a great week, but let's talk about what we're going to show these people. What are you guys going to create today? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I tell you, that, that's exactly where we needed to start. What are we going to create? And we knew how much you enjoyed running that UTV. So we're going to build you a track today so you get to run around. What do you think about that? Oh, I love it. A little racetrack here. That's perfect. You know, it's my thing. Let's do it. Absolutely. So, Rut, we worked with a, our local vendor, Quantum Land Designs. They do a great job for us. Ryan hooked us up. He helped us build a design that we can plug in these machines, and that way we don't need anybody on the floor. We don't need any surveying, no stakes, and essentially all these machines are working on the same design. We know where we're at any point in time. It works out fantastic. Isn't that cool? So we'll use that 3D mapping. We're going to highlight a lot of the different machines today and these six operators that are inside them. Let's see if we can check in with Josh here in that 725. How you feeling today, buddy? I'm feeling pretty good, bro. How are you doing today? Man, I'm doing awesome. What? All right, tell us about that truck. How's it work? I'll tell you, the biggest challenge that I've got today is just figuring out where I'm supposed to go, to be honest with you. No, but uh, one of the nice features about this truck is the assisted hoist. So with the assisted hoist, myself as the operator, I can basically pull up in a situation like this, 
hit neutral, it applies the surface brake, and one flip of the switch, and it'll dump the bed for me. That's really nice. Then if I, once the bed is dumped, I pull forward a little bit, and then one flip of the switch down, and it automatically elevates RPM and then drops the bed as well. So whether it's raised or lower, it does go full RPM, assist up and assist down. That's really nice. Another thing I like about this truck is, you know, the, the transmission control and the hoist lever are all in one. So basically I'm, I'm shifting gears, going forward to reverse and running the assist with all with just my index figure. So that's pretty darn nice. Uh, another thing, Automatic traction control, that's really nice too. Uh, myself as the operator, I don't have to worry about buttons on the dash or buttons on the floor to, to push. It automatically takes care of itself. It's a smart system. One less thing for me to, to really worry about. Uh, stability assist. So if I'm uh, dumping in a scenario like on a dump site or uneven terrain, this truck knows the degree of angle that the cab or the, the bed is on. So anything greater than 15%, it gives me an audible alarm and it will inhibit me of dumping the bed and, and potentially rolling the bed over. So that's another nice thing as the operators, I'm not trying to guess that I'm gonna be able to safely dump. That's cool, man. Technology that Absolutely. helps you, but it doesn't interrupt you. Keeps Absolutely. your productivity high. Keeps yep. you comfortable, that's really cool. And another thing real quick is Nathan's loading me right now. He has indicator lights for payload. So the lights are green, Nathan knows to keep loading. If it's flashing red, it's last pass. And then if it's solid red, he knows this truck's loaded. So that's nice for Nathan as the loader hand, knowing that he's sending the truck out completely loaded. That's so cool. Well, let's check in with Nathan in that 972M. How does the tech really set Caterpillar apart from the competition since you're running that one? Well, first off, Rutledge, right now, you know, I'm kind of cleaning up as he's dumping. And what really helps me maneuver around in this tight area is this joystick steering. So I can make quick movements uh, right, at, right at the touch of uh, this joystick right on my side. So it's attached to the seat, so it, it, it moves up and down with the seat. Four neutral and reverse, force feedback, all of it makes my life a lot easier. Throw in top, on top of that this uh, performance series bucket with the payload system. You know, I'm able to load Josh accurately. Um, like for instance, today, I'm really uh, trying to get just three buckets in there today. I could probably get two buckets in them, but you know, if I could get half buckets three times, it's easier on the machine and we can work uh, better together. But the other thing that really sets us apart, not only that, with that, uh, with the, the payload system is the calibration of it. Uh, I'm able to calibrate it on site real quick. Come on, back her on up, Terry. All Br right. Br bring her on in here. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And again, I'm seeing all my stuff right at, right at my eyesight here. So it's, it makes it real nice, Rutledge. You know, Rut, these things, they're chocked full of technology. And at the end of the day, anything with technology requires software updates. CAT's given our customers the ability for remote flash. So basically, as we sit today, half the machines coming off the CAT product line, remote flash capable, works out perfect. Keeps, uh, keeps machine downtime at a minimum, and it keeps those machines up to date and the most efficient they could possibly be. You know, and CAT's got another system out there. We call it CAT Productivity. It's a nice remote way to keep your job site productive. Web-based productivity management tool. You can literally, at a glance, kind of get a snapshot in time, if you will, and you can see your payloads per day, your average cycle time, your loads per pass, so on and so forth, pass per uh, pass count, I should say. It's an awesome way to keep track of where you're at on your job site. So we could know where Josh is in regards to his load count, and I could be back in Illinois, buddy. It's pretty cool. That's wild. It's cool to see how much technology is really helping set Caterpillar apart from the competition. We see the D6 Dozer is out here. Hood, you're operating it. Tell us about the redesign on that. Yeah, really, this is Caterpillar's first redesign in 35 years. Uh, they, they impressed me quite a bit when they came out with this machine. Uh, not only with the electric drive, first elevated sprocket electric drive dozer, uh, but what they really focused on a lot too is all the enhanced features in the cab for the operator. Seat comfort, adjustable armrest. Uh, something else I'd like to talk about is the new VPAT blade design. They really focus on helping balance out the machine. And now that one's also got slope assist, is that right? 
Yeah, I got. Yeah, it definitely has slope assist. It's done with all onboard sensors on the machine, um, and what that does is it automatically controls the blade to whatever input I put in, whether my cross slope or my main fall. If I'm doing a two percent cross slope, one percent main fall, um, it'll actually once I get the dozer set level to that slope, I can hit my autos, and it'll automatically control my blade and drive my blade to that whatever percent I have input in. That's pretty really nice cool. feature, very easy to use, um, pretty easy to train operators on. You can take a green operator and within just a few minutes, you can have them staying pretty duck productive on the job site. That's way cool, man. Thanks for uh, joining us in there. Hey, we got Speedo now in the 325. Does that thing have any new upgrades in it that really helps, helps with operator safety? Oh, absolutely. So just pulled up the 360 degree camera. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. The, uh, you know, these machines are working in really tight areas a lot of times. So op obviously looking behind the machine and knowing what's going on behind you is very, very important to the operator. So that 360 camera is an option, really, really helpful. Uh, also out of the factory, uh, loaded up with technology available to use. So right now we're using some payload, just like the, uh, the, the loaders had when they were loading the truck. Uh, able to track each bucket as I grab a bucket and dump it in that truck, it's tracking it for me. All that information is stored. I can pull that out of the machine with the USB drive and uh, keep track of my totals for the day. Or we can even send that back to the office and let them worry about it. So a lot of stuff out there. E-fence, assist, basically automatics, help me hold grade. Uh, even got GPS available out of the factory, all integrated into the machine. Very, very simple to use when the operators want to use it. That's so cool, man. We're seeing the demonstration of the e-fence on the screen right now. And really, it's all about setting those limitations and parameters for the machine so that you can focus on the job at hand and not have to worry about other things that are around you, right? Yep, that's exactly right. So these things are loaded up. And I mean, there's times where we're not going to use some of that stuff. But then there's other times where we may use it all day long, every day. So lots of options. Everybody's different. We got lots of choices. And uh, man, anything they can do to help me make my job easier is what I'm all about. It's all about if it's better, it's more efficient, more pro more productivity makes total sense. All right, guys, I don't want to seem like uh, I'm pointing out the obvious, but there's no one behind the wheel of this 930M, but Brian Kane's right up here. Kane, are you running this machine remotely right now? Yes, I am, right? So I've got uh, a remote control system here. Who didn't like, you know, dream of want to ever run, you know, RC car as a kid, right? So now I'm able to do that with this big machine. We have different size of loaders. We have different size of excavators that we're able to run these machines. Um, it's all about the, uh, you know, it's about finding what the customer needs and what the customer wants. So this particular one I'm running here, this is a line of sight. So I have this control uh, monitor, this control box here, and it's over the shoulder. And then that way I'm, with line of sight, I can run that machine from anywhere around there, still have the uh, full functionality like I would in the cab. And then the other option we have, uh, you can visit our command center down here that uh, is right below where I'm at. So we have uh, stations where we're able to set them stations up thousands and thousands of miles away and run them from mainly an office. So the operator, he or she is uh, in a nice clean environment, things, lo things like that. So it's, it's pretty easy, it's pretty intuitive. And then also if, let's say they wanna just run it manually. So they're able to get in that machine and run that as they would like. That's unbelievable. That's Brian Kane. He's right up here in the technology grandstands running that 930M. Chad, how does that help with operator safety and productivity? Well, I mean, look at Brian. He's safe and sound, right? He's up here in the crowd. He's out of harm's way without uh, any issues whatsoever. So let's say we have that loader in a precarious situation. We've got the ability to keep the operator safe. You know, at the end of the day, operator comfort's extremely important. Safety is even more important. And you know, this isn't new stuff for Caterpillar. We've been doing autonomous stuff for years, 30 years to be exact, in the mining industry. And now we've got all these crazy new capabilities. You can go in here in our command station and you can sit in a station and run an excavator in Arizona, a wheel loader in North Carolina, or a dozer in Illinois. Go right in there, talk to those guys. They're fantastic folks and they can help you out. It's, it's crazy. Or you can do the line of sight stuff like Brian's doing. We've got that capability. And then the cool thing about that is that machine is still fully capable as a regular machine. It doesn't take it out of uh, you know manual type operation. 
And then we've got the autonomous, semi-autonomous, which we'll see later today. Uh, autonomous uh, that we talked about earlier in the mining industry, it's been around forever and ever. Um, and actually, Caterpillar's got about 2 billion tons hauled in autonomous trucks without issue, without any injuries, without anything. It's been fantastic. We've been doing it, like I say, for a very long time. And then we've got over 4 million miles safely traveled with those autonomous trucks. Bottom line, we're not new to this game. We're just finally bringing it, bringing it to the construction industry. That's way cool. All right, well, let's check in, get a little more technology, a little more comfort for the operator. Tyler, you're in the 299. Is the operator, what do you think about it? Well, I tell you what, this thing's pretty, pretty handy. They talked about comfort uh, with uh, my buddy Kane over there sitting in his in his office running that machine. Well, I'll tell you what, I think this is a pretty nice office in here as well. I got plenty of room, you know, I'm about 6'3". I got plenty of leg room down there. You know, I can put my lunch pail down there. You know, it's all good. Also another nice feature, you know, I can control the speed of my hydraulics in here. If I want it fast, want it slow, it's, it's, really, it's really nice, you know. And then also with safety, they have uh, the door which opens about 40% wider. So that way you can get in here nice and safe, three points of contact, and yeah, uh, you'll, you'll really love it. That thing's awesome, man. Did anyone just notice that the 930M just switched from Brian Kane running it to remotely to now Nathan's inside of there? Nathan, how, how did you do that? Was there some big process there? Yeah, it was, it was a tough, tough process. I had to flip a switch. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes. Carpal tunnel, you know, it could happen. Wow. Anyways, no, it was it was a really easy process. Just walk up to the machine, just do a once over, make sure that no one's around it. Flip the switch. I got the the okay because of the green or the the lights on top weren't flashing anymore, so it let me know that it was safe to approach. And yeah, flip of a switch, I'm ready to go. Something else that's really neat about this machine, though, is when we talk about technology, the advancement in, in engine components and how these engines work. You know, in your world, when it comes to racing, high RPMs usually equate to power. Sure. Well, how about 800 less RPMs in this, creating more power? And tie into that a little bit, uh, a little bit more fuel savings. It's great. It's great for the the customer and the owner of the machine. So we're actually getting 30% more fuel economy, fuel savings in this machine because of those less uh, RPMs. So it's, it's a great thing. And then you tie that in with the Performance Series bucket, easy to load. Uh, it's all around great for the customer. Man, that's so cool. I mean, there's so much happening here. As you guys are working, if you're just joining us here, Caterpillar Oper Operator Stadium, the guys right now are building me a racetrack. I'm Brett LeJewitt, I'm your host this week. Then I'm gonna get out here in a few minutes in the UTV. Uh, but a ton of work has gone into all this. How many hours did it take you guys, Chad, to work on all these different demos? Well, we, we want to make sure that we put on it the best show we possibly could for our customers. Uh, so we've got about 1,600 hours just in the dry running and preparation for these demos. That's not including, you know, my time. That's just these six guys. So we've dumped our heart and souls into it because we know that our customers are dumping their heart and souls into what they do every day as well. So we recognize that and we want to do them proud, so to speak. Then it took about 3,600 cubic yards of material. And then there was the, the caveat, we had to figure out what material would be the best material to make uh, for this demo. So we, sure. we, we figured out kind of a magic recipe, if you will. Uh, and it, it held up really well in this, in this weather. And I think the guys are also doing a bang up job due to their preparation. That's for sure. Brian Kane, are you running a different machine remotely from the technology grandstands at this point? Yeah, right now, Rudd, I had uh, my good friend, Mr. Tyler, was in the 299 running that thing, telling you all about the comforts and features in that machine and how it operates. But then uh, the same thing, just we're able to switch this out and I'm able to run this machine line of sight. So a lot of times, you know, it's like, oh, it's kind of a wow factor for sure. But uh, with these uh, small machines like this, uh, with uh, compact track loaders or any type of skid loader or uh, MTL, we're able to put a lot of work tools on the front of these, right? So maybe it's a hammer, maybe we're out uh, doing a lot of brush removal, right? So it can put the operator, he or she, out of harm's way. So if we're doing a lot of brush removal and let's say we got a lot of sticks coming in all around the place, we're able to keep them out of the way. Maybe uh, if the glass is gonna break, something like that. Or if we want to, we're able to, um, 
if we have a demolition job. So let's say, you know, here in Vegas, they're always tearing hotels down, kind of putting some new ones up. So we could put this, uh, put this machine up on an upper floor, do some demolition work, and then push it off wherever it needs to go and be out of harm's way. Man, that's way cool. All right, I see the 440 just rolled out. Tyler's the operator in there. Can you tell us more about the seat mounted controls and the dual mode in that 440? Well, you bet you, Rudd. So what's really nice about this, you know, the got all the sticks right here, right attached to the to the seat. So what this allows me to do is if I'm digging a set, you know, I get done, I gotta move forward, I can click a button, able the switch here on my left hand, pick my front bucket up, don't have to wrench my neck, turn around, move forward, move backwards, set her back down. And now I'm back to work again. It really makes things a lot easier. That's a big deal, man. Now, all right. Now, I know you pointed out earlier 6.3. It also seems like you can really set these machines to your preferences, which are certainly going to be different from the other five guys out here. Yeah, you're exactly right. So a lot of other guys, they like to maybe make this machine a little bit faster. I prefer, you know, just somewhere in the middle. They keep it nice, controlled, safe, slow, just where I want it. You know, and that allows the operator to stay comfortable in here, more efficient, productivity goes up. You know, it, it's it's everything you, you you know you really need. And also, this thing has uh, automatic transmission, so you're never fumbling around to figure out what, what gear you need to be in. And then uh, also, the last thing I want to mention is the coupler. You got the IT coupler. You know, if you're at the end of the job site when you're done, you got to clean everything up, put a broom on there. Or you need to move stuff around, like on a pipe job, you need to bring pipe. You can put your forks on there. There's, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing. But so many different things, man. That's awesome. All right, we got to talk about the 150. This machine right here, this is one of my favorites that I got to see at the training center in Edwards, Illinois. Josh, you were the operator in that. Tell us why you love this thing so much. I know it's loaded with technology. I can tell you what, Rep, what I love about this machine, particularly right here today in this small area, is the joystick steering, man. I mean, it's pretty hard to maneuver around this tight area with all these machines, and with the joystick steering, that about 78% hand and arm movement makes all the difference in the world. You know, and the Caterpillar product line, they're all about choices. So, you know, the, the customer can either pick a, a joystick control machine such as this 150, or, you know, if they want steering wheel and levers, we have that as well. Uh, if anybody wants to go see a machine that's joystick and levers, I encourage you to go out at gate number two and look at that 140 out there. It's an awesome machine also. But uh, I also want to talk about the, uh, the massless cat 3D with grade. So you'll notice this thing has dual GPS but no mass or receivers on top of the moldboard. That is really nice, especially in a situation like I'm in right now. A lot of articulation, a lot of circle. Um, typically, if I had mass on this machine, I, I would really have to be careful of not getting those components into the cab or the glass or the handrails, whatever the case may be. Uh, this machine has lots of IMU sensors on it, so it knows every position of the whole drawbar circle and mold board, also the, the wheel lean, uh, articulation, steering angle, so it takes in account for all of that, and it is an awesome grading machine. I mean, it'll hold grade just like uh, you would expect out of a dual mass machine. Um, I encourage everybody to stick around for the spotlight demo after this. We're gonna talk a little bit more about where the sensors are and how they work but man, this thing performs really good. So um, massless really is a big deal on that. It's a game changer, man. It's absolutely a game changer. All right, so cool. All right, well, let's revisit the D6. Hood, you're still in that. Tell me about some of the 3D offerings in that one. Yeah, still in it, Rudd. Uh, Josh just talked about the massive system on the grader. That's definitely a nice feature on that thing. As you notice, this one doesn't have any mass on it either. My receivers are mounted on top of the cab as well. Uh, Again, getting that stuff out of harm's way, whether you're working underneath stuff or pushing on stuff, you definitely don't want to make the boss mad telling me you bent another pole. So it's kind of nice to get those up out of the way, but this is Caterpillar's three, uh, integrated 3D system. So you can have the option to get all this stuff set up 3D, ready to go from the factory. You don't have to put an aftermarket system in there, uh, but they, they still work together with Trimble system as well. Um, it's a real nice feature especially with the new display screen in there. 
enables you to set all your shortcuts down at the bottom. Uh, touch allows you to navigate the screen a lot easier. You can touch, press, and hold stuff to kind of get where you need to go, just kind of like your smartphone. Um, pretty nice setup, pretty nice system, and it works really well. That's cool, man. All right, so let's take a look, Chad. How about we give everybody a good understanding of where we are with the build so far? Yeah, absolutely. So again, going back to what we talked about earlier, you know, no more rolling out your cut and fill sheet on your the hood of your pickup truck. These machines are literally reading the same design. This is where we started at the top, and this is where we're going to wind up at the end. And all these machines, or most of these machines, are literally reading off the same plan. It's an awesome feature for us. And then like Josh, for example, you know, if, if we want to know where we're at on the job site, he can come around and do some surveying for us. Actually, he can tell us exactly where we're at. If I say, hey, Josh, you know, where am I at in regards to grade right here? He can put his blade down. He can tell me, hey, we're uh, foot high, foot low, whatever the case may be. It's an awesome system, and it helps expedite the job site for our customers, and it keeps people off the job site, which is obviously a lot safer. So this technology that Kat's been putting on all these new models, it's not technology that slows you down and what you're doing, having to be more uh, out of your way for it. It's all stuff that's interactive that at the end of the day is just helping make you more productive and more efficient. Absolutely, and I gotta tell you this too, man, it's easy. It's actually easy. So all these guys here, I think they're highly intelligent folks, but none of them are what I would consider tech savvy people. We're just normal guys, man. They run machines, they're good at it, it is what it is. They're not tech savvy folks, but they can run these things and they can help our customers understand exactly how this technology works and to help them do their jobs better and safer and faster. That's cool, smart technology made simple. Speedo, you're out there in the 313 GC. Tell us a little bit about that one, because it's certainly different from some of the others. It is, it is. It's similar, but it's different, but it's similar in a good way. So not all our customers need these full 3D machines all the time, right? We need some simple things. Uh, this machine here, the 313, a uh, little bit simple off, simpler offering, and uh, you know, almost the exact same cab as that 395. Uh, the machine's got a little bit smaller display, but uh, you know, I'm not sitting in here working, watching hyperdrive all day. I'm trying to get my job done and uh, get, uh, get go, go home at the end of the day nice and comfortable. I so, appreciate that shout out for my show on Netflix. <laughs> I thought you might like that. I assume that. you've seen all of them, but if not, I know you will in the next two weeks. Yes, I'll, I definitely will be watching. So as I'm doing some light grading here on the, uh, the berm out here in the middle, uh, you know, we need a machine a lot of times that uh, we can just do some simple grading. Maybe we need to throw some uh, simple work tools on. We might need uh, to do some backfilling of trenches, uh, maybe do some uh, compacting. Uh, you know, so we've got that machine on the job that's not doing all the work all the time. Uh, available with, you know, this nice side access, so it's almost climbing up, a, like climbing up a ladder. Real easy to get on, nice and simple, almost the same features. And, uh, you know, of course, my favorite is the no death fluid, which definitely got to love that one. Oh, it's big, Chad. You give people a lot of different choices here. Yeah, well, I mean, we got a lot of different customers, and they're doing a lot of different things. We got folks in the, folks in the waste industry, folks that are doing, uh, you know, just municipality work or mining or whatever the case may be. I mean, they're all over the board, which means their applications are all over the board, which means the requirements are all over the board. That 150, it's got everything you could possibly want, and yet it's simple to run. But what if I don't need that? What if I just literally want to go out the door, I want to turn the key, start my excavator, and get my job done? A GC, that 313 GC is an absolute perfect, perfect option for a guy like that. Doesn't mean it's less, it means it gets the job done. He turns the key, goes to work, he's got cat reliability, he's got access to genuine cat parts, which have the same research and development that all these cat products do. It's a perfect scenario for a lot of people. It really is. And let's not forget about the equipment management solutions. You gotta take care of your machines and your job site as well, right? Yeah, you can have the best machine around, but if you go out and, you, and your guys are beating it up or you're beating it up and no one's taking care of it, it's gonna fail. I mean, that's all there is to it. It will fail in time. Wear and tear happens to all vehicles, all machines, and we've got a solution for everyone and, and helps them manage their 
equipment. It's literally all it is. It's very simple. So we talked about these machines, how they all communicate. Even the GC is still communicating. And so it's sending data out. We're able to capture that data and then help determine, is there a potential failure coming down the pipe? Is there a scenario that we need to address? Or is it just time for a, a maintenance item? You know, oil change or whatever the case may be. So we can put that all on our customer's cell phones because these guys don't sit behind a desk, right? They're out there, you know, like at 6.30 this morning, we're here trying to determine, is this material gonna work for a demo? That's what they do every day. Yeah. And that's what they do every single day. So they gotta be mobile and we've given them that cat app to do that. That's so cool. Hood, you're out here in the 310 up there on the berm. Now that redesign's all about the operator, right? Will you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so something Caterpillar did is they really took the customer's um, input feedback on this machine. This was kind of built for customers, by customers per se. Um, I actually got a lot of, a chance to meet a lot of those guys out at our facility. A um, lot of experience that came from them guys. Uh, but something I really want to talk about is our stick steer modes that they put on this machine. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to use. You press the yellow button on your left hand joystick and then now I control the track for my joystick. Forwards, backwards, you can run the blade work with it. Um, you can set it up to where you're running your swing with your thumb roller. Uh, you're running your stick with your other thumb roller. Uh, real nice feature, pretty simple to use. Uh, I, I encourage all you guys to stick around after three o'clock, get out here and ask the product experts about all these machines. That's cool, and that's a great point, John. For everybody that's hanging out, customers, fans, anything else, uh, later this afternoon after our last tech demo at 2.30, after our last demo, I should say, at 2.30, uh, you'll have a chance to come out here, get in the dirt, get in all of these different machines, up close and personal, with our product specialists. You can ask a lot of questions. But now, I noticed that Tyler, you just cruised out here. You've got that smart grader blade on the 289 there. Will you tell us a little bit about it, how it works? Well, by golly, I will. So with this thing here, with all these E3 machines, they come with all standard with smart technology. So what that allows you to do is with these smart attachments is to, so let me backtrack here. With these smart attachments, we have three of them. So we have the backhoe, we have the, the smart backhoe, and then we have the smart dozer, and then we have the smart grader blade, which I have now. So when you plug one of these things in, it automatically configures that uh, smart attachment to the to your loader so which is very handy so all you got to do is click a button in the inside of the joystick and automatically it automatically configures to it so this will allow me to swing I got all I got circle I got raise and lower I got the tilt left and right and I also got these wings here that allow me to kind of almost make it a box blade and just really corral the dirt where I want it to go. And then also got these mirrors in the front, which allow me to, to see exactly how much I'm cutting. If I got any wet material in there, uh, so I don't just dump it all in one spot at the end of my cut. So I got two words for this uh, blade. Another perfect. <laughs> Another perfect. By golly, I think he nailed it there, Chad. I want to know, you know, there's a lot of, of people that love these compact track loaders and you got a new line of them too. Yeah, we certainly do. That, uh, the D3 that Tyler and Brian are out there running today, they're, they're a part of that lineup. It's another, it's another win for us. I gotta be honest with you. They're building on that continued uh, reliability name that we've got with our skid steer loader, compact track loader lineup. These D3s work with that smart attachment like we talked to, uh, like Tyler was talking about. They do a great job for us, buddy. All right, now I see the CS56B is out here. It's rolling the dirt into five sections, Chad. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, the CS56, it's one of the um, broad range of paving products that our folks uh, up in Minneapolis do for us. That's the CAP Paving Products Group. Nathan's on that CS56. I mean, essentially, you know, we're building a mock road here, for example, and Nathan's got the soil compacted. But then once we get that done, we've got, we've got to do a little bit more with it. And I, 
Nathan's got some pretty cool technology on there. Nathan, are you uh, are you able to help me out with that technology? Uh, what was that, John? Can you help me out a little bit with that technology oh, on that roller? Yeah, sorry, I got the radio. I was a little whipping Nene. And... Oh, yeah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you know, th that brings up how comfortable this machine is. You know, it's I got this technology in here that I'm using. Um, CMB, MDP, all that stuff. But what I really want to point out is the command for compaction. So for the folks that were here about an hour or so ago and watched the, the spotlight demo on this machine, uh, command for compaction is more or less a semi-autonomous program with this machine. So as long as you have GPS signal, and we have the GPS receiver, receivers on top, I can run this machine with just the touch of a button and it automates the steering and, uh, and the compaction rating and everything for me. So on a normal job site where you don't have as many moving pieces of equipment around here and you have a bigger area, that's where it really, really shines. But as far as the mapping out process goes, a couple things I got to touch on here, map out three points, more or less the perimeter of the area that I want compacted. And then from there, it, it, it shows the design on the screen, hit the auto button and it goes from there. Let's me know how many passes I have left what I got to do and, and uh, overall time to finish the job. Yeah, that's pretty slick. It's going to give you 100% process conformance and gets you like 60% better coverage. So like, for example, if Nathan gets a little side, a little distracted with his whipping nay nay, is that what you said, Nathan? <laughs> you better believe it. I'm embarrassed for you. So if he gets sidetracked in there and forgets where he's at on his passes, that command for compaction can literally uh, keep him straight and make sure he reach his compaction goals. You know, another thing that our uh, paving products group has done for our customers, they've got a system out there called eRoots. And eRoots is a plant to paver process monitoring system. Basically the goal is to align the project laydown with material delivery. So basically if you don't have the trucks there on time, whether that's you know, you, you can't be too late, you can't be too early. When it comes to hot mix, it's a big deal for our customers. So they work really hard to help our customers figure out those logistics. We give them the compactor to compact the, the subgrade. We give them the pavers to pave it. Heck, we give them the mills and the reclaimers to, uh, to uh, fix any uh, imperfections on old uh, pavement as well. But we also give them the ability to work on a job while it's in hand helping out with their logistics. So, Rudd, I don't know about you, but that's pretty cool stuff, buddy. I think it's awesome. How's my track looking? <laughs> well, why don't you find out yourself? Oh, boy, is it time? Uh, I think you're really, are you excited, Rudd? You know I'm excited. Let me just, uh, let me just come out here and check, take a look. Go for it. Absolutely go for it. Are you guys ready? Go. Let's do it. I'll just check it out. Just do a one, just a little warm up lap here. Just see how it goes. I also like how you pretended like you didn't love Whip and Nay Nay. I think that's, <laughs> it was your iPod they found that in last hey, time. Hey, 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 that, it was actually 8-track, but whatever. I appreciate that you still have an iPod. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I feel like I can do it a little bit faster. Let me just try, I'll get through the whoops. If any Top Gear fans, you know I've hit those whoops wrong a couple times in my life. Right, I did meet know, a really nice x-ray technician. He asked me for a picture, and I said, can I... Get out of this robe first. All right, yeah, this is great, guys. This was well, half an hour to change this into this awesome track. I'm going up to the pedestal. And you know, Let's Rod, that's possible because of all the, the technology that we use, payload, cat grade, cat command, and fleet management and equipment monitoring. It works out freaking great for our customers. So cool, all right. Come on up to the top, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, that was awesome. Y'all make some noise for Chad and the boys, huh? 10 years of experience. That's just at the demo center with all these guys. But I tell you what, they are incredible. Some of the best in the world just made this track for me. We're proud to support you, the titans of the trades. with the next generation of equipment, the most advanced technology, and a whole new range of tools and services to keep you at the top of your game so you can accomplish what matters most to you.
Let's do the work. One more time for all our operators up here. Boys, give me a wave. Let them hear you out there. How cool is that? I hope they've come to the house and make a racetrack in the backyard. My kids would love it. Hey, before you leave, make sure you get out your phones. Look up at the big screen right now. We've got a QR code for you for the great giveaway. We're giving away all sorts of stuff. You take your phone, go take a picture of that. Follow the link. You can win cat hats, cat phones, maybe even a cat mini excavator. Coming up this afternoon, we've got Mike Rowe again. We've got another great demo for you. So coming up here in just a few minutes, we've got our Spotlight Series. So you can see the 150 up close and personal. Learn all about the cool things that that motor grader does and how it could help you. Make sure you stop by our store or any of the other four spots we've got here. We are so glad you're here with us for Con Expo at the Caterpillar Operator Stadium.